Hello there and welcome back to Cory Loses for the continuation of our Thrawn's Revenge 3.0 preview playthrough, even though the release is out now, as the New Republic. In the last episode, we killed most of Zinja's forces. Uh, he does have a few planets in the middle. Uh, so, there's Silagus, Dathomir, Generis, and Sereno for him. He does also have Saphalor with an executor on it. Uh, we're going to be trying to deal with that, but... We ran into some problems with uh, with that last time. So really, we need to make sure we don't put ourselves in a position to get uh, get into any any trouble from what is there. So I think what we'll want to do is first send you into Sereno, and we've got to get what few ground forces we have into Bimiel. We're gonna... We're gonna use those ground forces, the dregs of what's still around, to, to conquer Bimiel. And Sereno, we're just gonna take care of later once we have a bigger stack of ground units. So, let's start the battle with the Viscount there. Enemy forces ahead! Um, drop in truth to power and arm in the back. Sirius is asking, what do you think of Post's commentary? Uh, I don't think that's something I would necessarily do. I have thought about doing a, a series or a stream where I just add, like, where I let the AI play and kind of cast it. Uh, maybe even just on the galactic level and kind of watch how the map evolves. Because I, I really like watching that kind of stuff myself. Like, that's one of the things I like about this kind of game, watching border gore happen. Uh, and I think that could be a fun thing to do in Empire at War. But, I don't know. Battle dog, sir. get in there. Taco, here your model. Erebus is asking, does Garm have any progression with the ship from a dreadnought? I thought I noticed something and was wondering if it had anything to do with it later on. The more stop and power. Percent. So, Garm has three possible flagships that he can upgrade through. Uh, he has the Peregrine, then he has the Ruska Fire. He has a VSD, or is it Slonian Fire? Uh, and then he can get the Mediator, the Harbinger. So, he does have a few few options later on, especially. Star Destroyer standing by. Thank you, Krogan Archangel, for subscribing. Three months in a row. Very appreciated. Actually, is it in a row? I don't know enough about Twitch. It's not like it's my job or anything, but I don't. Like, we've almost lost the Viscount twice in the last set of streams, so it's not going to be the insta-win button, but when it goes against battles like this, it'll be enough to take stuff out. I don't know if we're going to be able to beat Zinj's... Well, actually, I think we can beat Zinj's uh, executor with it. But it had two very close calls. We do need to do the uh, the Viscount research, because that'll give us the, the proto-Viscount. Because technically we shouldn't have this thing yet. It's stronger in raw stats than an executor, but the firing arcs can play a large role in that. Especially when you're jumping in uh, and getting those few extra seconds of additional damage on you. It has better shields, but it's still... It can, it can be kind of swingy, like depending on which side of weapons gets taken down first. Okay. 
But I think with superior model and Garm's help, it'll be fine. Y wing, standing by. Get over there. Starting my run. Uh, hello, Threaten. We are fully operational. Damn. The Valadusia is probably going to get an upgrade sooner than later. Alright, send you over to Bimiel just so we can see what's going on with that. And I'm going to... You know what? Greater Maldrude is going to get Viscounted. They can Viscount on that. Uh, Gloria... And we'll be able to go into Dathomir with probably Wedge's fleet. Well, not Wedge's fleet anymore, because that's going to... should probably s combine these two. I'm going to move Wedge out, because I think he might have been causing those crashes. But... We've located the enemy. Frigate reporting. Ships will reinforce Uh, there you go. Commander. Just asking what Mariah Authority have the cannon or legends asserter? I'm not sure what you mean there. Uh, unless you're suggesting that the legends asserter would have been Fractal Sponge's weapon loadout for it rather than the FFG one. Uh, but Fractal's loadout for it was never cannon in any capacity. Like, these are all pretty small fleets, so we won't have much to do there. Uh, Undead Immortals asking, is there a document somewhere which explains the units of each faction, what tier they are, how much they cost, etc. Uh, no. The only documentation that's available right now is fun. You bastards. We're drawing their fire. Huh. Alright, there was an HV gun there. But yeah, so the only stuff available is whatever's in game. Um, we are working on a website, but I'm not sure when that'll be available and that it have like, all that information. I guess they weren't cool enough to shoot the Viscount. Uh, I think that's everything, though. That is a no- You bastards. How dare you. Like we gotta recruit someone else. Um... Let's free that up. Again. Alright, a bat. You've got a- You've got a Viscount now. Uh, Airbus is asking about an app for TR. So that, when I was talking about that, that's the same as the, uh, oh, there, which no, one sorry. of our planets revolted? Oh, no, I think we just got those units for Yavin revolting. All right. Uh, but yeah, the website would basically be the app. It's the same thing. Uh, that's by you. And who are we going to get? A Turk, I guess? Or do we want Namo? Let's get Namo, because we, we've lost our other Mon Cal commanders. Uh, Big Bimiel.
Choose your reinforcements. Adjusting Navi computer. I've always really liked Sogol. She's one of my favorite Jedi. Oh, she's a fun hero for me to have. G2B over. G2B copy. On it, sir. I copy. Course plotted. We've secured a build. We lose enough of our heroes. We might have to pull some people out of retirement. There they are. Okay, if you're all gonna be that that poorly organized stay together So go go and crush the building for us. We have enough vehicles here that we can probably deal with the turret quickly. Got it. There we go. Battle meditation only crashes. Oh, that's interesting. Look. So yeah, there were a bunch of abilities that Phil added. Uh, based on like dropping a particle, and several of them cause stability issues. So we've been trying to figure that out. What a fleet. You know what? This could be fun. We got a free revolt fleet. Because of that whole situation. We're going to see how they do with... Uh... Engage. They do with an executor. Because that was a lot of stuff. Uh, that dude champs asking any potential update, any new potential update from Petroglyph. The enemy is so Petroglyph was able to do the previous update in January because they had time off between projects. Uh, that's really only going to happen every few years, basically. Uh, like whenever they have nothing else going on. So I wouldn't expect it to become a regular thing unless things are going poorly for Petroglyph. So, yeah. Superior model, get in there with the bat. Aether. We are fully operational. Awaiting orders. Target those lasers. Your command, sir. The lasers are our target. Endurance on station. Alright. Uh, as long as we can just make sure that none of the bombers get too close, we're okay. We haven't done any specific stats for the uh, survey yet, so I can't really answer any questions on what that's going to be like. It'll have... Like, it'll average towards heavier weapons, which will make it better... Per weapon on average than, uh, than the executor against like, larger targets, but what the raw overall power level will be is hard to say. Alright, now we got some golems to kill. Make sure we keep cleaning up these bombers. And... Over here. The Asserter will definitely not have a Asserter. Endurance class at your disposal, sir. Uh, the one 
They were able to do a few Empire War patches between 2017 and 2018 because they had more time with downtime between projects, but they are a small company and they don't really get paid for the AW updates. So it was really just they had time, so they started contacting everyone, asking what we wanted. Uh, then you say, I have a question related to the stats of some ships, like the Allegiance and Nebula. I noticed that weapons don't have 180 degree firing arc. If the ship turned broadside, is there a particular reason they don't have 180 degree firing arc? So, it's not necessarily that not having 180 degree firing arcs will make them turn broadside. The game will turn them towards whatever their best arc is. The weapon, the firing arcs for all the weapons are determined individually based on where they are on the ship. Uh, to kind of be realistic for what they would do. There's also an issue introduced by the recent patches where uh, it's like 10% of the time it'll just load in a really fucked up way that'll mess up all the firing arcs for all the ships. Uh, so there's issues there that we can't really do anything about. But so ships that normally behave perfectly fine will sometimes just behave really oddly because of issues introduced there. Choose your reinforcements. Moving out, Commander. Heading to destination. Start of the nurse on standby. Now we're just going to kill the rest of their heroes. But on this side. Engage. In the third block. We are fully operational. Get in over there. Ready. Yeah, there's there's reasonably only so much that they can do in patches. Uh because it doesn't really get full QA. Uh, and anything you change can have a lot of unexpected side effects. Uh, we saw some of that with this patch, like the, the recent patches. So you kind of got to be careful what you wish for as well. Otherwise, you can just as easily get issues introduced that didn't exist before if you try to reach too far, get too much at once. It all has to be done kind of ad hoc. And they can't really like go through and do follow up patches to fix anything. Now we've actually taken care of Maldrew's space stuff. So we still got Nervi and Thurban. Thurban's all facing the wrong way. Uh, it is actually people who were originally around during development of the game. Uh, the people who were doing the patches. Awaiting orders. 
Because most of the work was done, so most of the communication with us was done by Ted, uh, who's been around since then. And most of the work on the actual code is being done by uh, Steve Tall and Brian Hayes, who are both in the original team. For anyone who was done like the the tutorial that comes with the map editor, you install that. There's Steve's Ewok mod. It was that Steve. I want to make a good fleet for... Well, Aretta actually has a good fleet. We don't need to make a good fleet for Aretta. Right away. We do want to move Wedge out. The Wedge, you're going to go sit over there where you can't cause any problems. All right. Revolt fleet... Go and die. I'm actually going to save here, though. Because we have done a fair bit. I don't want it to crash and lose that 20 minutes of fun. That would be very sad. I expect this fleet will probably lose, but it'll be fun. And then we can focus on just pushing the line against Zinj slash the Penistar alignment. The PA is doing damage in the core to the Empire. They have, it looks like, two planets near Corellia. Let's see. Yeah, they actually took Hakasi and Ojong, which were the uh, the Greater Mount Druid fleets, or planets. Zinj has Brintal still. Kuat having the Sovereign is going to be fun. But we could probably take Hakasi and Ojong pretty easily. What's the actual... 59... 59... 290, because they have an executor on Duro. Well, let's do it. This will be something. Oh right! I don't even fucking get fighters! <laughs> This 
is going to be the shit show. If this build had the pilot stuff turned on. Still going in. Armed and ready. Target those lasers. Target responding. Ready to command. Marauder cruiser here. Orders, sir. Activating weapon. Orders, sir. Concentrating fire. Fire on those lasers. Ready for action. Target those lasers. Targeting the torpedo launcher. Standing by. Fire on those lasers! Guns at the ready. Head full. Yes, sir. No power to weapons. Target those lasers. Weapons charged. Weapons operation. Quasar reporting for duty, sir. Roger, all batteries open fire. I copy, sir. Ready to fire. All right. Underway. You guys get over there. Your order, sir. Moving there now, sir. Eliminating target. Ready. Our target. Our target. Yes, sir. Await your orders. Our turbo lasers. Roger that. Concentrating fire. Fire on those right, lasers. Here we go. Your word is my command, sir. No MC forties, you are our real damage. You can't turn around. Gotta stay focused. You're a big tanky boys for this battle. That power to weapons damage in there. Okay, now everyone focus on different hard points. There are enough of you to individually take down a hard point each. Your order, sir. Your word is my command, sir. If we had fighters, we would just be absolutely demolishing this battle. again. The CR9 needs to be able to do much damage to the executor later. Yeah, if I turned around and killed the ISD, we definitely would have been able to do that, and there'd be less firing on them when the uh, the main battle started. Fire on those lasers. Ordered, sir. Target those lasers. Ready for action. 
Any way to turn off pilots to give like a billion yourself? I mean, just like with credits, if you can go into the files and give yourself however many you want, but. Firing target. Attack commencing. Yes, sir. I copy, sir. Once they're in the game. Opening fire on the torpedo launcher. Targeting the torpedo launcher. Opening fire on the torpedo launcher. Form up. I don't think we'll be able to kill the <laughs> Okay, we had a crash, and then I redid the uh, the executor battle already. I'm gonna leave in the one that uh, that we did first because I had more fun with that one. Uh, but gotta remember where we were with everything. Do some rebuilding. So, did we build? Yeah. We're starting to build brand. That would have been after. I'm gonna move you. Take us in. Move to that there. location. Enemy fleet approaching. All right. Uh, this battle. Angrin. In the original run, this battle resulted in some sad times with the Royal Fleet. I'm going to try to build more defenses on the ground in uh, these ones. Ready. Yes, sir. My copy. We've got the MC-90, the MC-80B at the front. This is basically the, the layout we want. Ready. Attack. MC-90 Star Cruiser reporting. Y-Wing Squadron reporting. Y-Wing standing by. wing here. Going for that laser. And how can we be of reporting in? Okay, power to weapons now, you should be able to do all that pretty well. You do. Nope, you don't even need to do power damage. You're still close. I was kind of hoping they would put more time into fighting each other than me, but they've decided that uh, I don't deserve that time off and uh, the constitution of our forces. But that was much cleaner than the first time of the raid. Difficult, difficult. Antrim can actually build up its own fleet for Aretta Bell. But I do want to invade Asi still. Not if it results in a crash, because that's where it crashed the first time. You know what? Let's just do it. Recruiting troops. Because we can take both of these core planets pretty easily. Choose your reinforcements. Engines are full. In majestic warrior star. Setting course. 
So frigates. Back We're on. on. Tide. I actually don't want them to retreat, so Kira. We're heading there now. Got one. And Moving out. use. No sir. Right as solist. Raiders aren't a problem. There, let's kill this before it gets too far away. And switch some to the munificents. I gotta stop until they don't do a single unit retreat. That before it sneaks off. We gotta gotta move out so little frigates can get attacked. We've killed all these little guys. is asking, why don't you take independent force planets in the core? So, the ones on the west side of the core, if those are what you mean, those are the Yavithan planets, and they can be quite hard to invade. They also aren't intended to open up until Air 5, uh, but I don't remember what exactly the build I'm on had. So, I don't think we can invade them yet, and even if we could, they're quite difficult to crack. So, considering uh, it, there will be a roving fleet that comes out of there, and eventually they'll be put back in as like an active action. But they're... I typically don't want to attack the independent forces right now, except for any that will give me like better access through somewhere, because our forces still need to be focused on taking out the Penistar alignment and our actual enemies. Glacius, so I don't want to take those because we can go around them relatively easily. They're not under threat of being taken. Uh, we force revolts on a couple of them. Like, Tilfaglio, we force a revolt on, and same with Commodore. And right now, they provide a pretty good buffer, uh, and they're going to be kind of hard to kill. So I don't want to break that. This is kind of a problem, though. Arita and transitory mists being taken. Because the Hapens were providing another buffer. Uh, well. Moretta's getting Darulian's Folly. Queen's Revenge. Fulcrum. Along with Obvious Choke. Astral Hammer. Yeah, heroes cannot die to the, uh, HV gun. It's possible they could in this build, because I'm not sure if we started before or after the limitation got put on it, but they uh, they generally can't. Or at least in the in the version you guys would be playing, they can't. T2B over. Yes. I'm here, sir. Can do. T2B, copy. I copy. We Armor standing by. Back. Ready. Right. Affirmative. Armor ready. On it, sir. I'll follow your lead. Reporting in. Ready to roll. Got it. Ready to roll. You go straight in. Roger that. You, TV. Roger that. Form up. Awaiting order. The guys over here. Form up. A build pad. Awaiting order. complete. Copy. We've secured. This will be AV. Copy. Reporting. Moving out. 
Just with Diesel V. If you guessed AV, you guessed correctly. Uh, this I'm actually going to get a repair pad on. Now you guys get over there. Alright, get over there. That and that. I don't like that they have the middle. I avoided it because it didn't do much for us last time. The Western Dragon, are there any plans for Mandalorians being added? So Mandalorians in Father Republic uh, will probably have some forces on their planets, but at that point in galactic history, they're not really a, a galactic power. So having them be like an active faction that builds and does stuff is kind of unlikely given what they were at the time. They'll be in Revan's Revenge, but we're kind of in Thrawn's Revenge and Father Republic. We're kind of past their, their peak. Get out of there. Oh, we're, we're baiting him in. We're baiting him in. Come on. Get back. Just gotta get to a point where they're gonna get attacked by the turrets. I copy. Fall out, troops. Reporting. Let's move out. Turret has been sold. Awaiting orders, right. sir. Uh copy. Here. Let's move out. We can cover you. Yes, Commander. Avoiding fire. Let's go. Ready. I copy. Reporting. Fire. Guarding the ring. Yes, sir. Yes, Commander. We can't. We can't worry about that. Uh, we gotta go up this way. Yes. This will probably have to be anti I'm here, sir. Guys, come on. Too much to deal with Ready. there. Keep going. We've got your back. You be over. Okay, we really need to here. Just run out there. See, if they attack on that side, that's where all our stuff is. That's what we need. Roger that. Yes, sir. All right, men, take right away. Moving ahead. Get up here. Heading out, sir. Oh, don't waste it on the AV turret. Waste it on the AV turret. There's nothing I can do about it anymore. We just gotta live with it.
Okay, we can get the ATTE there. Let's go. Awaiting orders. Nice, I think we got that one. Reporting. Forward. Oh, and this one as well, maybe. And it's just the field base. Yes, Commander. Or those. D2B over. All right. Uh. Difficult. I copy. Over there. D2B copy. We've secured. Okay, we actually do still have one more arm, so that's hand. There's no place for your actually gonna be shooting them. It's the high ground. And go around the other side. Ready to roll. Let's go. Come on, man. This way. Meeting with caution. Yes, sir. Construction complete. Boarding in. Right away. Ready to roll. Moving ahead. We've got them on the run. Hey. There we go. All right. That's going to do it for this episode. Uh, I don't know how long it actually was because of the, the resets, but I think that's a good time to make sure I have to have another reset. So for those of you watching on YouTube, thanks for watching. For those watching on Twitch, we're going to keep going. See you next time.